What's up, friends? Thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Rovin. We've got a 20 minute full body sculpt workout today. All you're gonna need is a mat and a set of weights. I got six kilogram in each hand, which is about 13 pounds, I guess. Um, it's going to be a 20 minute workout, two sets in total, eight moves. We're gonna work for one minute. We're gonna rest for 15 seconds. I'm into it. I hope you're in a mood. Let's get going. If you haven't warmed up yet, make sure that you're doing my warm up episode. And after the episode, definitely hit the cool down to get that full body experience. Let's go. All right, here we go. Let's get started. We're going to grab onto one weight and we're starting off with a goblet squat. You set your feet shoulder width apart, pull your belly button all the way into the ribs. So you're really engaging that core. Grab your weight at the neck and drop down in a squat. You're gonna hold it here for one pulse, come up, squeeze your glutes. Goblet squat, drop down, one pulse, and squeeze your glutes when you're up. The party has started. Make sure that you're pushing your knees to your tiny toes. All right, so you wanna make sure they're not meeting down at the bottom, but you're really pushing from your inner thighs, aiming for those little toes. In a squat, 70% of your body weight drops into the back of the heels and 30% is balancing out in those toes. You're squeezing your butt from the bottom and then hold it while you're up. Drop down, little pulse, squeeze. You're not pushing your hips forward, just squeeze your glutes. That's enough for that little boost for the bootai. Last one, fabulous. We're gonna grab onto the other weight as well. Set your feet hip width apart into your second move, a dead row coming into a deadlift. Row, elbows as close to the body, come back down and then lift all the way up. In a deadlift, you wanna make sure that you're shifting your hips all the way to the back. So what we're not doing is we're not bending those legs in a squat. We're simply shifting the hips back as far as you can, keeping a straight line from the tailbone to the top of your head and come back up, keeping that core engaged consistently. I like the focus today. We're working with heavy weights or at least with challenging weights. And so you wanna make sure you're working at a nice and slow pace to really focus on your form. It's not about speed. It is all about form today. Last two. You're listening. Yes, awesome job. We're dropping down the weights. We don't need them on this next exercise. Third one out of eight. Set your hands right underneath your shoulders. Come into a plank position, tuck your hips under. We're stepping into a bear position, out to a plank, shoulder tap right and left. Let's get going. Bear position, knees are right underneath the hips in that bear. Tap right, tap left. Here's a modification. If you're not cool with that plank, you can bring the knees down and simply shoulder tap right and left. Keep going, tuck your hips under. Your knees are hovering above the floor, so we're not dropping the knees down on the floor. Really keep them right above. And try to not rock those hips too much as we're shoulder tapping, right? That's the challenging part for that core. Damn, feel it. <laughs> Fabulous job. Be proud of yourself for showing up today. Do not underestimate that showing up is the toughest part. <laughs> Three, two, one, yes. We're staying down on the floor, grab onto one weight. Right, most people never show up. The toughest part is done, baby. Set your feet down on the floor, chest is up, belly button tight. We're gonna go for a Russian twist. Both sides come to center and press out, aligned with the chest, do it again. Right to left, center, push, and back, let's go. Modification is to just keep twisting 
right and left, no press up front, especially with shoulder or lower back issues. You wanna make sure you take care of that body. Anybody else out of breath yet? Me too, don't be embarrassed. <laughs> This is one of those workouts where you realize you do not have to jump around. You do not have to be on a high pace to be out of breath and to start to break a sweat, right? I love that. Five seconds. Yes. Three, two, one. Awesome. Grab onto both weights. Stay down on the floor. Your feet are hip width apart. Set your heels nice and close to the butt. So we're targeting the butt at the same time. We're combining upper body with lower body. You're gonna bring those elbows right beside you, lifting your hips all the way up. Squeeze the glutes. One leg comes up, shoulder press, and then come back up. Chest press, obviously. <laughs> Lift up and come back down. Now you try to keep your hips as high as possible, not coming down, simply lifting one leg, arms at the same time, arms come down again, leg drops down on the floor. Now really make sure you're planting your feet in the floor. <sighs> Breathe. Modification, hips down, only chest press. Lift and bring the elbows close. Elbows are aligned with the shoulders. Belly button tight, don't over push. Really tuck your hips under. Three, two, one. Yes, you did! We're grumming up. Leave your weights on the floor for a moment, especially if you have heavier weights, and then make sure you grab them nice and safe. Set your feet shoulder width apart again. Another version of a squat, bring the weights up to the shoulder, drop down to a squat, alternating shoulder press. We're twisting the upper body and from the hips, twist out to the side and then squeeze that glute. You feel it? As you squeeze the glutes, you really get that extra boost for the, boozy, for the booty as you're in that shoulder press. Oh, I love this move so much. Yes. Halfway through 30 seconds. Hello, please. This is a tough one. This is one where we get that heart rate up big time. The diversity of coming all the way down and back up is what makes this a badass. I got another burning exercise coming up. So get ready, y'all. Get ready. This is not the moment to give up on yourself. <laughs> awesome job. Stay where you are, take a little breath. Watch me. We're gonna bring the weights down to the floor all the way. Come out, back in, burpee, lift up the weights again. Ready? Let go. Come to the top of your mat, weights down, plank position, feet hip width apart, and lift up. Nice and slow, you don't have to be too quick. Modification, without your weights. Drop down, squat, plank, back to that squat, and lift up. <sighs> breathe, don't forget to open your mouth. Breathe in, breathe out. It's a simple reminder, but holy shit, we forget sometimes, don't we? <laughs> Me too, I'm right there with you. As easy as it sounds, sometimes I think a move is easier without breathing. It kind of doesn't work that way. I tried, it's not a big success. <laughs> so let's just keep going and keep breathing. Good news though, I got one more move. We're gonna do that shit again and that's it. Boom, breathe, there you go. No weights needed on this last move of your first set. We got one minute break after that. Woo -hoo. Come down in a plank position. Low plank, so your elbows are right underneath the shoulders. Hold that plank with me, let's go. You're gonna go for a knee drive on the right, knee drive on the left, coming towards the elbow. Now watch me. You're gonna walk back, army crawl on the elbows, knees are bent, keep the knees hovering above the floor, and then come back to that plank position. 
Make sure those elbows are again stacked underneath the shoulders. Boom, knee drive, right and left, army crawl. Whoa, that's a full body baby right there. That is a full body burner. Right, left, fuego. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> it's not cute, it's not easy, but we're not taking the easy road today, right? You deserve better than easy. You wanna challenge yourself, you wanna shake yourself up a little. That is what training is about. Three, two, one, yes! Taking a little break. How's about that? Water, breathe, dance break, you do you. Mm. Grooving. So we're gonna do that set one more time. That's it, y'all. Starting off with that goblet squat. We know the deal. We know the party. We're not afraid anymore. This is the best part. The second set is interesting though because your body is pre-exhausted from your first set. So everything might get you out of breath a little quicker, might make you sweat a little quicker. Let it all in. Also, you want to improve the form on that second set. You know what to do now. Let's go a little deeper, a little stronger. Let's dig deep and let's go hard. Go hard and go home. What? Grab onto your weight. Let's go. Drop down, goblet squat. Party is over. Back to work. <laughs> I love a goblet squat. It feels strong. And I love those exercises where you can just work on a slow pace but really feel strong and challenged at the same time. Remember to push those knees to the tiny toes, weight in the back of the heels, chest stays up. My favorite advice and tip on a squat is to squeeze your glutes from the bottom all the way up. So you drop down, you're squeezing here already, and you come up until you know, that little part where your knees are still slightly bent, best ever. What a difference it makes when you squeeze. <sighs> Moving into that dead row soon. Three, two, one. Gorgeous. Both weights. Dead row, party time. Feet, hip with the part. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm gonna do it to the other side just for fun. How's about that? Coming down, elbows close to the body. Come back down, lift up. Feet, hip width apart, shift your hips to the back. Elbows close. How do you know what your deepest point is at a deadlift, right? Keep going, especially if you're advanced. You wanna make sure that you're not extra bending your knees, so we're not squatting here. You're simply shifting the hips back until the deepest point. And if you feel that you need to bend your legs to go deeper, don't go there. That's a squat, that's not a deadlift. Oh, that feels so good. You can absolutely work on a quicker pace than I'm working up. You know that, right? I'm not here to stop you. I'm not here to slow you down. You do you. Focus on that form. That's all we ask. Boom. Yes. Down to the floor. No weights needed for your plank to bear. And then shoulder tap in plank. Hands stacked underneath the shoulder, so you want to make sure you're not too far back or too far over to protect your wrists. Knees in, bare position, back to a plank. Make sure you keep those hips nice and still, do it again. Remember your modification on this one is on the knees, simply tapping right and left, but you wanna keep those hips still. In that bear crawl or in that bear position, you wanna make sure you keep that back straight, right? Basically, if I would put a tray filled with cocktails on your back right now, I don't want to see no spilling. Those are my cocktails right there. You better be careful. <laughs> you better be careful. Yes. I'm dripping sweat. It's starting to drip. 
did not expect that, but holy shit, it's always a pleasant surprise. I love to drip sweat. Knowing we're challenged, knowing we're working at our max potential. Boom, that's the last one. Grab onto your weight. Russian twist with a press. Plant those heels in the floor, chest is up. Tuck your hips under, right? So you're never arching the back, but you really make that curve in those hips. Right, left, center, push out, do it again. Ha. Keep breathing, keep believing. <laughs> Advanced, if you're like, you know what, this is too easy for me, bro. I got you, no worries. Lift your feet off the floor. Ooh, I got sweat in my eye, y'all. That is not cute, but damn, we're working. It's a sign of work, it's a sign of strength, it's a sign of transformation, so I like it. So feet off the floor if it's too easy for you. There's no such thing as an easy workout. We don't do it. Don't sign for it. Make it tough. Make it count. Make it worth your time. Three, two, one, ha, so good. Both weights on the back, glute bridge with a chest press at the same time. Feet hip width apart, heels are close to the butt, lift up, elbows down to the floor, lift the hips up, and as we're lifting one leg in a glute bridge, alternating right and left, you're making a chest press at the same time modification remember especially with lower back issues hips stay down on the floor chest press only let's get it the power here is to keep your hips as high as you can lift them not bringing them down in between those reps tuck your hips under I'm gonna say it again pull your belly button into the ribs just because I know sometimes we forget to engage that core. Don't forget, don't do that to me. Stay sharp, y'all, stay sharp. Almost there. Three, two, one, yay! There we are. Lifting up without your weights, just to be safe, and then grab onto your weights, making sure that your core is engaged. Squat, alternating shoulder press. Hello, please. Here we go. Feet shoulder width apart so you can drop nice and deep. Boom, twisting from the hips so that upper body comes along, squeeze the glute on the backside. Extra boost for that boot tie. One of those moves where if you want to, you can definitely pick up the pace. Explosive as you're pushing in that shoulder press, all right? So slowly down in that squat. Explosive up. Damn! Don't forget to squeeze the butt. We got about 15 seconds left. Oh my word! There we are. Last few reps. And the last time we do this shit. Thank you. Ha! Awesome. Burpee with weights. Feet hip width apart. Coming all the way down. I want you to be nice and slow on that rhythm. Bend your legs as deep as you can. Come out to a plank. Back up and lift. Let's get it started. Modification without weights. really focusing on that form and my core engagement. So I like that slow pace. Nothing wrong with it. Don't feel rushed. That's the last thing I want you to feel during the workout. I don't want you to feel stressed or any type of bullshit. I want you to feel strong, in control, proud of yourself for getting the work in. This is not easy. One more move after this is that army crawl. 
and then you've done it off your freaking checklist. Ha! Huh. How's about that? Last one, boom. Yes. Down on the floor for your finisher. Let's come down in that low plank position already. Elbows are stacked underneath the shoulder. Ready? Here we go. Knee drive on the right, on the left. Walk back. Now hover the knees above the floor. So you're really bending your legs. Mm. Damn. That full body burner again. That last bit is getting the heart rate up. You feel that, right? That last bit of the set. I love it. Means we're gonna leave satisfied, sweaty, and out of breath. Some of my favorites. <laughs> last 20 seconds. Get it, baby. This is not the moment to give up or to trust your self-doubt. This is where you wanna listen to your body. Give into it. Give into the challenge. Five, four, three, two, one. Ha! Huh. So great. Yes! Take a breath. Sit down. Water, towel, get the sweat out of your eye. Ha! Huh. Incredible job. 20 minutes of full body sculpting. Definitely a combination of strength, toning, and sculpting. I'm super proud of you for showing up today. My name is Rowan. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see and do some more of my full length workouts. Definitely come out to elevatebyrowan.com. I hope to see you soon.